Good morning and welcome to Godly Play. Oh, let's get ready for our story. We're going to take three deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the beginning, the baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. Listen carefully. Listen to the words. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. And the word was born, a wordless child. When the baby looked up to the face of the mother Mary, he saw the cross. Then when he looked up to the face of the father Joseph, he saw the cross there, too. The mother Mary and the father Joseph held the baby close. They kept the baby warm, and they gave the baby everything the baby needed to grow. And it began to grow. The baby grew to be a boy. And when he was about 12 years old, he went with his mother Mary and the father Joseph and with many other people from their village of Nazareth to the great city of Jerusalem to keep one of the high holy days. When the celebration was over, the people from Nazareth went out through the great high gate and started on the road toward home. Suddenly, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus was not there. They thought he had been playing with the other children from their village, and as they walked together, they hurried back to the great city of Jerusalem to find him. Mary and Joseph looked in the dark, narrow streets. They looked in the marketplace where they had bought their food. They looked where they had spent the night. They looked everywhere. Finally, they even looked in the temple, and there he was. He was talking to the rabbis, the priests. When he spoke, they listened because he knew so much. And when they spoke, he listened because he wanted to learn more. Mary and Joseph then asked Jesus the question all parents asked their children, the question you could never answer. Why did you do this? And Jesus said something very strange. He said, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand. Their house was in Nazareth, where Joseph's carpenter shop was. They did not understand, but they did not forget.